What up guys, Doc Doser here, going up against Fizzy, 19, let's do, see if he goes, let's see if he takes a bait, <laughs> he did, let's see, you know, maybe he's a good opponent, maybe he knows what he's getting himself into, I want to be in a good fight, so let's do it. Oh, he's a good opponent. 12 and 6. Let's do this. Lady Blanks, Vladdy Blanks, however you want to pronounce it. 6 foot 2, 160. I'm sure he's a long reach. I'm 5 foot 9, 152. 73 inch reach. Pretty small. Or in between, however you want to look at it. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Do this. Let's go, Long Reach. Well, you remember when you were a kid, you walked downtown in Manhattan, and you looked up at the Empire State Building, all those great tall buildings? Well, it's the same thing. You suddenly get inside, you look up, and wow, there's a tall building. Stop making so many. Sorry about that, Seth. I live, uh, live close to an airport. Those are oh, old school airplanes, single engine planes. When they fly, clo when they fly pretty close, you, you can hear them. <laughs> Going for his belly. This guy's a long reacher, so I'm trying to, you know, just. I want to. I'll avoid his head a little bit, just because I know when I when you go to people for people's heads, they tend to attack you back. When you go for the belly, they're just kind of like they kind of let themselves sometimes. Not all people, but stand my gun a little bit. Because it's blocking now. That's fine. I'll shoot when he shoots. Reyes's combination punching is working well here. Got him. Sweet keys putting on a display of accuracy, and the punch numbers tell that story. We got that. That's the word. He's my stamina's uh, recovery was at 9, my current stamina is at 97, which is excellent, pretty good, awesome, <laughs> where I want it to be. As long as it's not in the 80s by around 1, around 2, I mean, that'd be, that'd be horrible. I want to see more uppercuts, okay? He's moving in with his head down. Guys, making me watch the whole round. Apologize to you guys, YouTubers, making you guys sit through that shit. That wasn't me. Okay, 
away from those headshots with his defense up top. How about that exchange? Nice block that time. It was intended for the head. Okay, man. Maybe I'll let him just kind of work himself out a little bit. Let him throw some punches. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Sweet D is so dangerous with that accuracy. It's too much combination win. Caught me with that streak. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand score. Sweet P's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. The midst of the straight right. Being a little bit too aggressive. Should probably stay back a little bit, but. I feel like every shot that I'm hitting him with is causing some pain, some damage to him. He's and I just want to weaken him. There's the combo to the body. As much as possible for the next round. That way, you know, it won't be too much of a long fight. My stamina recovery was only at a 4. I hope I'm still in the 90s, and I'm not. I'm at 88, so it's all right. Close, close enough. As long as I'm not in the 70s. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Hopefully, he's ready. He's coming out with a straight jab. I mean, with just a jab. Which is cool, so what I, what I do is just, I'll let him throw, and then I'll block, and then as soon as he finishes throwing it, I'll throw mine. And if he doesn't throw it, if he lags to throw it, actually I'll throw it before him. And then throw an uppercut or two, because I know he might, might want to retaliate afterwards. And if he does try to retaliate, he's going to get hit. Not all the time, you kind of have to feel it too, you know, you can't just uh, throw random punches out there. What an impact that left hand just made by Reyes. Able to cover up along the belt line. Watch that one. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Keep working it, Jim. Solid Oof. right by Blood. That's ugly with me. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy. And so many times, it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's going to try to move on him. So start doing it early on. And later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Blood. Guy's running away from me, but I'm beating the shit out of his body, so. Even if he doesn't throw anything. I'm hurting him. And he's running out of energy. His mistake is letting me just, you know, lie in front of him, just be right in front of him. He should probably even try to either push me back or move back. At least from my opinion. Be right back, let me just go get a beer real quick. <laughs> As long as the other guy is not landing the clean shots, even though he's not as active, but this is the kind of fight where he's just busier 
He's doing more, and that's carried around. Well, his opponent is opening up. Well, he's saving the body. I gotta be careful with that. Kind of allow him to do that. Yeah, I think some counter punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. There's the combo downstairs. Can't possibly last too long. His body already feels a little, a little weak. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Double up when you punch. Go to the feet. Targeting the left hand to the body, and now he scores well with a straight right. Blood's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Maybe I'm wasting a little bit too much energy. I should probably relax. You know they're all going for the fences. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is, you're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked, but when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Blood's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Jab and a straight right by Sweetie. How about that hook by Blood? Plenty of time to work here at round number five. Minute and a half to go. Reyes has landed a good, solid combination. I'm just focusing on his body because he doesn't know what to do. You know, I'm overwhelming him. I'm just. Fight goes on, he's just gonna get weakened. Reyes has given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponents cooperate with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated, he's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. The guy's moving his head, you know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, do a little bit too much. with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. What a difference from corner to corner. As he sits on his stool, he knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target.
Good job, that Let's do it. Sorry about that. See, my stamina is at 60 some, so I'm gonna be careful now. I'm gonna not gonna throw too much. I know I got a long fight over ahead of me. But if he's not gonna throw anything, I might as well. He probably has less than I do. See if I can save some of my energy. Maybe use too much man. The round comes to an end. This is the Reyes is in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. I've been fucking up his body like crazy. Comes right back He's still standing, man. I'll probably relax just to get some energy. I'll counter if he comes at me all stupid. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs.
Okay, same thing. Keep the jab moving. And you have to move your head. Watch out for that right uppercut when you come inside, okay? So he's won the, the last two rounds. Nice. Nice for him. I need to uh, start taking this a little more serious. And, uh, actually, I don't think I've been hitting him in the head, that's why. I think I just been focusing on the belly. Why so tight? Because it's not a common camp. You know, he reminds me, believe it or not, of Victor Camacho, the former junior lightweight champion, because he throws a trip pattern there. You know, usually you turn that jab over, you know, kind of clockwise, but he doesn't turn it over. He just drops it down. He just drops straight down. There's no warning, and boy, it's been landed. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Sweet Pea. Reyes is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. I'll let him throw some punches. See how much power he has for stamina. Blood's almost looking foolish that time he so badly. Punching is working well here. No, he missed that right. Razor Got him. left hand by Sweet Pea. Banks is being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. He turned things around. And now his opponent Banks is big Over. Got him. He stayed up though. He gave me a challenge, man. He stayed up on his feet and uh, did the best he possibly could, man. Props. Good round, good round. I'm wasting way too much, too much stamina, so I'm about to relax. I would want to finish this fight, but it's going to be at the risk of me being knocked down. Well targeted two punch combo by Banks. Switching things up. He was knocked down earlier, so now he's going to try to take a different course. Now, that tells me, if I'm his opponent, a couple of things. Either that he's very clever, that he's making a little switch, or it just gives me confidence that he's desperate. You know, he's never done this before, and in my mind, I'm saying, I got him right where I want. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. 90 seconds into the ninth round. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Gotta relax, conserve my energy. Still, still another round left. Hitting him, but nothing's happening. <laughs> well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. It's all good. Another round go. Let's go. He's gonna, he's gonna put my stamina to the test. Let's do this. I'm always open for a challenge. 
we're under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customata. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great... Oh, he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. Was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy was... Damn, he got me. Damn, that was luck. Well, nah, maybe he timed the right shit. I don't want to take away anything from him. But, let's do this. Back up, let some energy come back. I'm not going to let him do that. He did that to a body too, so that was a body shot. It's not good. He could throw as many as he wants. Throw him a combination. And just get my energy back up. Not my energy, but my power. Down though, my stamina is low. I'm throwing so much. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Banks has got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. Not at all, because he's not moving at all. <laughs> that was good, man. That was a good fucking fight. Yeah, there it is. Just give it to me. Kind of gives it away. That little box on the right. Bottom right. There she blows. That was a good fight though, man. He, he got close. He knocked me down at the end. He wore my stamina down. Shit, he even made me nervous. There it is. I won the first five rounds. And then he won the, the next four of the last five. And it still wasn't enough. Damn. I shouldn't be so uh, cocky. This guy got close to, to taking it. That's a good fight, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. If you like, like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks again.